Welcome to video number four in this Wii video training. In this video we are going to look at how to create a new project and uh, do some basic editing in that project and then how to export out of that project to your social media outlet of choice. So uh, if you'll notice I have uploaded my Wii video brainstorming and down below I also have a collaborator that I've invited to this project, uh, Nesden. And uh, that's all the media that I currently have in here, but that's okay. So now we're just gonna go ahead and create a new video and it's gonna, we video will take us into its editing interface. This is what the we video editing interface looks like. Essentially we have a file browser area up here in the top left, we have a uh, preview or program monitor over in the top right, and a timeline down below. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, file browser area to start with. There's a few tabs across the top. Private files is where all of the media that you have personally uploaded exists. Uh, the My Media folder is just kind of your top level folder and then I also have a individual project folder for a Wii video lesson. Project files are project files specifically associated with the particular project that you're in at the time and this is where all of the collaborator files will show up. So I've got a me folder where I uploaded my brainstorming video. If I had collaborators uh, uploading video all of their fo individual folders would show up here. The videos tab is gives you a few options for some just blank color slides uh, which is handy for if you need to do titles or uh, credits. The audio tab features a whole selection of license free music that you can use in your edits which is great for education purposes. Some great options for uh, embedding music, sound effects, and background atmospheres. They also have a whole selection of transitions, basic wipes, they have some animated style transitions, flags, some 3D like cube effect transitions, uh, your basic fades, uh, some other kind of more graphical transitions, and grids and patterns. And finally, they also include a whole series of graphics that you can throw in there. So you have basic text, there's uh, thought bubbles and word bubbles for possibly creating uh, more comic life style uh, videos, uh, some lower thirds, end credits. You can add some frames around your video. They have some uh, animations, for example, like bang, so some graphic stuff like that. It's pretty slick and uh, some general effects, so some snow effects, vignette effects, old film, if you wanted to apply that to your video. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the basic editing functions of Wii Video. Unfortunately, at the time of this recording, uh, I'm experiencing a problem with Wii Video, as you will see here. So to uh, choose a clip, you select it, and you'll have to wait for it to, when you hit play, for example, it'll buffer. I will go ahead and hit record, and then I'm going to click back here on my Word document, and I'll just read. So that allows you to preview. As you can see, unfortunately, uh, the problem that I'm experiencing right now and have yet to find a solution is that my video is lagging behind my audio by about one second. Uh, this is kind of a downer for this particular training. But hopefully we video will have this problem sorted out by the time you are using the software. Anyways, we're just going to go ahead and show you kind of the basic editing tools. So to get a piece of video into your timeline, you just click and drag down into the video track. Over here you have a slider bar that allows you to zoom in and out on your timeline so you can see more or less of your uh, clip. I'm going to zoom out so that we can see the whole clip, just like that. And then uh, you have three basic editing tools. You can trim 
front or the back of the clip so you can adjust the in and out point that way or you can simply for example I will go ahead and hit record and then I'm going to click back here on my Word document and I'll just read so I want to get rid of that whole introduction and so I can just pause my timeline where I want to make a split and then I just click the split clip button or I can hit the S key and that makes an edit. Now I can select a clip and hit delete. Uh, there's an undo feature right there. Uh, this is also the delete button as well so you can select the clip and delete that way as well. And that's basically it. So simply uh, uh, this is maybe a slight downer for video clips that Hap might happen to be super long. Uh, there's no ability to create in and out points in, say, your preview window and then drag those clips down into your timeline. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other editing features included in Wii Video. Uh, we'll show you how to do a transition real quick. It's as simple as, you know, either adding another clip to your timeline. So for example, I'm just going to go ahead and split this clip, we'll make a delete here, go find another video, um, got this one, drag it down, and if I want to put a cross dissolve or something of that nature in between, just find it in the transition section, drop down below, and with the collaborator, and I'll put in it cross dissolve straight into the other video. Simple as that. Uh, other things that you can do with Wii Video are add video effects or simple color correction. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that. We'll just split the clips here a couple times. And then you can select a particular clip and then click on this effects button. And that brings up a window that allows you to choose a variety of video effects or color correction down here and so you can just select color correct and then you can adjust saturation, contrast, uh, hue, stuff of that nature or you could uh, choose an effect so uh, let's maybe, we'll do this uh, radial kaleidoscope that's probably pretty intense, and so we'll choose that. Um, looks like it's, uh, I hit done, and it applies an effect to my video. Another cool feature, if you are happen to be working with uh, still photos, and you're just kind of making a, say, photo podcast style uh, video uh, is the we video video wizard and I have a series of still photos in here and literally I can just drag them down to the timeline in the order that I'd like them to appear I hit next and it allows me to adjust the amount of time that they'll be on screen and whether or not I want to apply a Ken Burns effect to the clips and uh, if I want to add a transition in between, like create an automatic transition between each of the still photos, I'm going to actually choose no transition for right now. Hit create, and boom, they just show up on my timeline in the order that I would like them. So there I've got three videos. And now let's say I wanted to add, all right, these were uh, some photos that I made for a previous project. Let's say I wanted to add some uh, like uh, thought bubbles or whatever. I can go into my graphics and go into text and they have the, these cool little um, thought bubble options and so I could drag that on top of a clip. and you know make some adjustments I've got myself thinking about things
thinking about brain-based learning is what it looks like I'm thinking about here. And then add, I wonder about we video. Resize that. Myself a question mark there. All right, and so you can add pretty cool little uh, thought bubbles or whatever to your your still photos if you'd like. Uh, and then the final thing is we video does come with a whole selection of license free music. And so if I want to add some music under here, I can preview something. do for right now. So I can just drag music down onto my timeline, add it, adjust the volume using the little bars, or using the little bubbles at the beginning and the end. I can actually make music go up and down by adding control points uh, and doing some rubber banding if I want. So, you know, pretty simple to eat, simple and easy to use uh, audio. So, as the media arts instructor at my school, I am always school activities, events, and culture as I can. To go up. Unfortunately, the students from my classes that I would hope to shoot video for all these events are usually participating in them and are unable to and do everything I need to uh, as far as creating an audio mix. So once you have an edit that you're happy with and uh, you're ready to share, now it's time to export. To export, you go to File, and we go to Share and Export. Uh, it gives you a little dialog box that lets you know how much time you still have available to export per month. It gives you an option to upgrade from standard definition to high definition for myself, because uh, I'm just on the free version. I'm going to go ahead and hit No Thanks and continue. And now it allows me to either just export right back to my dashboard by going to export to your Wii Video account or you can export to any of the uh, sites that you have connections or accounts with. So you can uh, export straight to your YouTube channel, you can go to a, YouTube or a Vimeo account, right to Facebook, or you could uh, connect to, twi to Twitter. Um, and you can just go ahead and click on one of those to uh, connect to that account that you happen to have. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to select FTP export. And we're just going to go right to YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and do movie as private for right now. And I'll hit export. And it'll take a little time. And so we'll pause and be right back. Once you've hit OK, it will take a little bit, a few minutes, to upload to uh, YouTube depending on your connection and the length of your video. But after a while, once you go to your video, your YouTube account, there it is, We Video Training. Now we can uh, take a look at this. So, as the media arts instructor at my school, I am always there looking for new ways to capture first We Video edited video. Once you've done this, uh, please be sure to share this link in the Edifier forum by clicking on share, copying this link, and pasting it into uh, the learners forum on the Edifier site. So that is the basics of the Wii video editing interface. Uh, go ahead and play around. Good luck, and I hope you enjoy.